Smart countries, um, smart nations, smart cities um, are increasingly um, required to be more reactive, more proactive, uh, more efficient in terms of their communications, both to their um, citizens, their residents, to tourists and visitors, um, and uh, the businesses that operate within uh, the city and, and country confines. The Internet of Things goes um, a long way to joining the dots between these various interested parties within smart cities and smart nations. Um, the Internet of Things um, uh, really leads to transportation within a smart city context in helping understanding how to facilitate journey management, how to bring people into the city, smart parking and sensors that relate to how people can more effectively park within a city. So in the past we've had things like um, security surveillance cameras but sensor networks takes it a step further where we can help provide real-time on-demand information from these sensors that com can communicate so when a visitor comes into a country they know exactly what the best way, what the safest way to get around the city is. So from a Huawei perspective, Safe City um, is really the forefront um, of, of, of the enablement platform um, of one of our smart city sort of areas. Um, and the Internet of Things forms a really important part in driving uh, that safe city discussion for governments, for smart nations, for smart cities to attract um, new um, visitors and tourists into the country um, based on providing them with the most accurate, real-time, on-demand information uh, that can only be enhanced by um, the Internet of Things and sensor data. Huawei is really leading this and from an industry collaboration perspective, we want to help um, the ecosystem around a city context. Huawei is at the um, very forefront of, of the IoT um, challenge at the moment and we want to work with our partners really closely on understanding what the demand-driven customer-centric aspects to IoT are.